I'm David from DRK Imports and today I'd like to show you one of the vehicles that we currently have in stock for sale. Just over my left shoulder is a 2008 Toyota Estima two-wheel drive areas spec. So we're just going to give you a quick walk around of the vehicle, show you what it's like inside and we'll uh, give it a little start up. As I said before, this is a 2008 Toyota Estima. 2.4 litre petrol engine fitted to an automatic gearbox. This one comes on a set of aftermarket 19 inch alloy wheels, split rims. It's also on a set of tying coilovers and I think the stance of the vehicle is very very nice. It rides nice, it's not too uncomfortable um, and it drives very very well indeed. This is a really nice spec model so ideal if you want something a bit more stylish to pick the kids up from school or something that you can take to shows that's also practical as a daily run. It's really nice aftermarket front splitter on there as well. It's got two smart keys. So you've got keyless entry, keyless ignition. It's got twin power sliding doors, all the usual air conditioning, climate control. It's got leather seat covers, which fit perfectly. It's got aftermarket mats and change color LED lights in both the driver and passenger doors, which I'll just show you. So they're fitted down at the bottom there. Probably can't see it very well on the camera, unfortunately. There we go. They just flash on and off. I just thought they were quite smart. So plenty of space in the front there. You've got a glove box at the bottom, one at the top there. So plenty of storage space. Um, there's also a power off button. If you want to turn the power off to the rear electric doors and then they will just operate manually. Um, so if I just pull this here, then the door opens quite effortlessly. Um, now these seats, they recline with footrests. So I'm going to attempt to show you, um, I think I'm probably going to have a bit more luck in the other side, um, to be fair. So we'll just pop round. I'll use the key again to open the door on this side. There we go. As you can see, it opens effortlessly. Now, if I pop the camera down here, I think I tried this with the other one that I had. And I'm hoping that you're going to be able to see properly. Um, so, if I just pop the seat back a good bit. Um, I've got the driver's seat quite far back. Um, but you could, if you were tired and you wanted to stop and have a sleep, then this is what you can do. And... and it extends as well and it'll come all the way up it's quite comfortable you can do it so that if you've got the seats in the back and they're folded into the boot then you could put it right back and you really you could sleep quite easily um, we'll just pop that back down and I'll put the seat forward again they're really quite versatile vehicles. Um, you can do so much with them. I think some people actually even get mini camper conversions done on these. As you can see, might as well show you in the back here whilst whilst we're in this part of the vehicle. So there's your rear bench seat. There's three seats across the back. As I said, both these seats, they fold down into the boot so that you've got huge load space, which I'm gonna show you in just a minute. There's cup holders on both sides. Um, there's also in the middle row in both the sliding doors and at the front as well. And you've also got a, a mini table um, between the passenger seats and it just flips up, which is quite good. So I'll just pop that seat back. You'll have to excuse my camera ability there. Only one hand. So we'll show you how big the boot is whilst you've got all the seats in play. Um, it's still quite a reasonable size. And if... You lift this up, it's really quite deep under there and you could probably get, you know, quite a lot of shopping under there and in the top of the boot and still have all the kids sat in the car. So I'm just going to lift this panel out and I'll show you how 
the seats fold into the boot. It's a lot easier with um, two hands, of course. So you take this tab, you give it a pull, and you just push the seat forwards. And then you take the small tab here, and you pull it, and the seat just goes down into the boot. You could just do the one. So if you had, if you had the kids there, you could just do the one and have that seat up and still have a load space. If we do the two of them, just grab this tab, he says, push it down, pull that tab up, push it down into the boot, and there we go, we've got a huge, huge load space. I'm gonna pop this panel back in as well, if I can, with one hand. Oh, that was a lot easier than the last time I did it. So there you go, you've got massive space and you can push both the seats all the way forward and just get huge, huge load space in there. So there we have it. That's uh, that's the interior mostly. We'll just show you, this one's actually fitted with a moonroof as well. And um, it's got a sunroof in the front, which I'm not gonna open because it's starting to rain. Um, it's also fitted with a Toyota, Japanese Toyota entertainment system, which if you can get the instructions for, is actually really, really good. It's got built-in DVD player, hard drive, there's a flip-down screen. Um, it's really quite cool. So we'll just pop this button. So this is the button here for the moonroof. And if I can angle the camera properly. There we go. I don't actually understand why people like these things. Um, I'm supposed to let light in. So they're pretty good. Oh, there we go. So we've got um, a DVD player. It's one that I popped in earlier. I think it's Mission Impossible. Um, and it does play through the rear screen as well with the remote control. However, I forgot to change the batteries in the remote control. It's all genuine Toyota system. Um, you've got your controls down here for your climate control, temperature, front and rear windows, um, and your aircon as well. Um, there's 12 volt socket down here. There's twin cup holders in the middle there. Um, I'm not quite sure what else. So you've got your fuel gauge, temperature gauge here, speedometer, rev counter, and it's all very, very simple. And it's such, such a lovely car to drive. Um, I'm gonna pop the bonnet and show you what it's like under there, if I can actually get it open. So there we go, it's nothing particularly special, it's just a Toyota 2.4 litre petrol engine but as you can see everything's, all the components and everything are really really clean. So there we have it, it's a uh, 2008 Toyota Estima, two wheel drive. The reason it's beeping is because I've got the keys in my pocket, but you can you can do that. You can walk a reasonable distance whilst leaving the car running with the keys in your pocket. Um, it's just if anyone tries to drive off, they'll only get so far, and then the car will just cut out. So there we have it, 2008 Toyota Estima two-wheel drive. If anybody's interested in this vehicle or arranging a test drive, please get in touch. If anybody would like more information about any of the other vehicles that we have in stock, um, please let me know. Details will be at the bottom of the page. We have lots and lots of MPVs in stock. Um, if anybody would like details on our commission importing process, so that's a vehicles to order, then please get in touch because we don't just do MPVs. We also do classics from Thailand. We now have a workshop in Thailand and we're offering vehicle sourcing and custom builds and modifications. So please get in touch if that's the sort of thing that you're into. Um, or if you just want an MPV to your spec to order, um, then get in touch and I will send you over the details via PDF. Um, thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you on my next video. Please take a look at any of the other videos that we've done. There are some cool classics.
on the um, channel um, and as I said if that's your thing then get in touch to see what we're able to offer. Goodbye.